yeah hello all yeah. welcome back yeah. so in the previous session we have created the credit control area right yeah. so i think you have gone through that yeah yeah now let me go through what is our credit control area we have created it control area what is that we have created m100 okay okay so now okay. let me go through the credit control area which we have created in the earlier means in the previous class okay. so now let me go through Yes, P R O. Mm. Then S yes, A P reference I M G. Mm. Then here enterprise structure. Then here definition. Then mm. financial accounting. Mm. And here define credit control area, right? So mm. in which we have created our credit control area. Which is nothing but M one hundred. This one. So if we go inside this one, we have already gone through the update groups, right? Mm. So here I will give the update group as four zeros one two. Mm. So if you would like to know what exactly the update group is and how many update groups we are having, you can go through the previous session where I have clearly explained. About the three types of update groups. Okay, so now here I am giving the update group four zeros one two. So which considers all open sales orders, open deliveries, open invoices, and open items also while updating into the credit management. Okay, see now here F I variant. What is the FI variant we are using? V three, right? Mm. So I have given the FI variant here as V three. Mm. See, then what is the next? Uh, what is this? next? Uh, sorry. <coughs> yeah. See. <coughs> see. Then what is the next thing we have to do? Here it is default data for automatically creating new customers, right? Yeah. What is this default data for automatically creating new customers? Yeah. So if any new customer is going to be creating SAP yeah. in X D zero one or V, what is this? V D zero one or F D zero one. Whatever the transaction is, if a new customer is going to be created in SAP, mm. what will be the default data? That's what will be controlled by this field. Mm. Okay. Mm. See here in this configuration step, we will maintain the credit limits of the new customers. Mm. What is that? Credit limits. Yes, we will maintain the credit limit. Credit limits of whom? New customers. Means if a new customer is going to be created, for whom we will maintain the credit limit here. Okay. And if we maintain credit limit here, then the system will automatically create every thirty two. Mm. This is what is a transaction code. Mm. Okay, so we can see the credit limits of the customer here. Credit exposure, mm. sales value, everything we can see in this transaction. Okay. So whenever a new customer is created, then automatically the FD thirty two also will get created for that customer if we maintain the default data here. Mm. So here, let me mention the credit limit as one lakh. Mm. Is it okay? 
Okay. So now let me save it. In the same way here we can maintain a risk category also. See now I have saved it, right? Mm. So now let us go back from here also. And what is the next step after we are defining? We have to assign it to the company code, right? Mm. The credit control area which we have created, that's what has to be assigned to the company code. Okay. And who is responsible here to assign the what is this, uh, <coughs> credit control area to the company code? Yes, FA consultant. Yes. Again, yeah. FA consultants are responsible for The five consultants are responsible for assigning mm -hmm. credit control area mm -hmm. to company code. Okay, so now let me tell you how can we assign. Let me go through the path SP, RO, and here SAP reference IMG, then here enterprise structure. Then here, what is that? Assignment. Mm -hmm. Here, financial accounting. See, the second one here is assign company code to the credit control area, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to click on it. Then, what is our company code? M100. And what is the credit control area which we have created? It is also M100, right? Mm -hmm. So now I will save it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is what is the configuration step done by the FI consultant. Mm -hmm. So in the next video, I will let you know what is the configuration being as an SAP S3 consultant you have to do? Mm -hmm. So I think okay. you are clear with this session. Yeah. And if you have any queries in this regard, you can ask me now. Mm -hmm. Are you having any queries in it? Yeah, no, sorry. Okay then, thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.